Hi everyone, this is your Hurricane Tracker video update for June 20th of 2011. I want to start off today by looking at the overall picture. You can see we have uh, Tropical Storm Beatrice off the coast of Mexico in the East Pacific. And Beatrice is expected to become the second hurricane of the Eastern Pacific season by later today. In the Atlantic Basin, you can see everything is quiet at the moment, which is good news. And we'll talk more about a possible disturbance in the southern Gulf of Mexico uh, sometime next week. Let's take a look at uh, Tropical Storm Beatrice. As you can see, Beatrice is a well-defined tropical storm. As of this recording, uh, the winds are estimated at 65 miles an hour. There is a recon reconnaissance Hurricane Hunter aircraft investigating the storm. And uh, like I said, by later today, there's a great chance this will become a hurricane a minimal category one hurricane and it's just got to organize a little bit more and before it is classified as a uh, as a hurricane and uh, especially here whenever you see these deep reds near the center you know that uh, there's a lot of precipitation and that usually is a, is a good sign that the storm is strength in a strengthening phase now here's the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center it they do take Beatrice to the west northwest very close to the northwest uh, Mexican coast and then turn the storm more towards the west northwest and then westward eventually and uh, they do bring it off the coast of Mexico as a strong category one hurricane now there is some question as to how far north the storm will get towards the coast there's going to be a high pressure ridge developing north of the storm which will be uh, responsible for turning the storm westward away from the coast it's just a matter of, of timing how quickly this how far north the storm can get before that ridge builds so if you live along the co um, along this portion of the Mexican coastline pay close attention as uh, these watches warnings and forecasts can change pretty quickly and uh, there will definitely be strong winds and heavy rains along the coast just a matter of how far inland how far towards the coast it gets as to how high the winds will get uh, inland there and you can see from this graphic over here, the reds are the uh, indicated areas of hurricane force winds. And you can see the latest track does keep the strongest winds off the coast of Mexico, but it does bring very strong tropical storm force winds and even minimal tropical storm force winds, which are the greens, pretty far inland here along the uh, southern coast of Mexico. The computer models are split at the moment. Uh, a lot of computer models want to keep driving the storm towards the west-northwest to the northwest. And then uh, others want to take it more on a westerly course. So at this time, the National Hurricane Center's track is pretty much down the middle of the guidance. So again, um, with this many computer models showing uh, closer movement towards the coast, it is a slight possibility. We'll keep you updated on that. And here's a graphical representation of uh, where the watches and warnings are in place at the moment. We do have some important watches and warnings to cover with you. First of all, there's a hurricane warning in effect from Zihuatanejo, which is here, northward to La Fortuna. So if you live in Zihuatanejo, the Manzanillo area, Colima, definitely pay close attention as there is a chance you could receive hurricane force winds, especially if the storm does take a more northerly course. Now from uh, La Fortuna northward to the Puerto Vallarta area, there's a tropical storm warning and a hurricane watch in effect. The hurricane watch is in effect in case the storm does take a more northerly motion, then there would be a greater chance of this region being impacted by very strong or minimal, uh, very strong tropical storm force winds or minimal hurricane force winds. South of Zihuatanejo to Tecpan de Galeana, there is a tropical storm warning in effect. So even folks in the Acapulco area could experience some tropical storm force wind gusts. And uh, these impacts should begin within 48 hours. And again, I can't stress enough, if you, especially if you live on the coast and you're watching this video update, please pay close attention to the forecast as this could become a dangerous situation. Now if we look at the animation infrared satellite of uh, Tropical Storm Beatrice this morning, you can see very cold cloud tops, which is indicative indicative of uh, you know very strong convection near the center you can see it has good outflow in all quadrants it looks like a very classic tropical storm and again it is moving towards the west northwest ever so closer to the Mexican coastline 
but we'll definitely keep you updated uh, as the advisories change from the National Hurricane Center with any important changes on Beatrice. Something uh, of a little bit of interest here, a, a few computer models have been sh showing a tropical wave entering the southern Gulf of Mexico late this week or sometime next week uh, in the very far southern uh, part of the Gulf. Now this is too far out to predict. You know, some models are showing a tropical wave, even a possible tropical depression, while many others are not showing anything. So it's just something to keep an eye on. It's way too far out to, to predict these kind of things. We'll definitely keep you updated. If you look at the climate, the climate, uh, climate map here as to, sorry, the climatological map as to where tropical storms develop uh, in the late, late part of June, June 21st to June 30th, you can see the majority of the storms in the Atlantic Basin do form in the, um, so in the Gulf of Mexico with even a few here in the southern Gulf of Mexico. Uh, so if anything changes, we'll keep you updated. And uh, thanks so much for being a Hurricane Tracker customer. And uh, we'll come back with another video update as soon as conditions change. Thanks. Have a great day.